And thank you for joining us for Acadiana's News Channel at 5 o'clock. We start in Palmetto where the cleanup continues after this weekend's deadly tornado. The EF3 twister packed 140 mile per hour winds as it touched down Saturday morning. Kaylee Norman spoke with residents in the area and who are still working tonight to get their lives back in order. Kaylee. People who live here on Bolden Road tell me that they aren't surprised of how the community has come together to help clean up the aftermath of a tornado. That's the community. It's family and friends from right here. They was passing by saying whatever we could do, told them to come help. They came back, she came back and helped. Burnell Offred lives in Palmetto, but was fortunate enough to not be affected by the tornado. She came by on Sunday to lend a helping hand. I had gone to church Sunday morning and then I came here afterwards and asked if there was anything I could do and they said, well, come back and help. <laughs> so I went home and changed clothes and so I helped out yesterday and I'm back here today. Today, Offer It is helping the Johnsons search for valuable belongings that cannot be replaced among the rubbish. Others showed up to help in many other ways, from bringing large equipment to remove debris, to feeding everybody. The Andrews, they um, usually, from what I'm hearing, they, they usually go, when something goes on, they, they go on barbecue, they say, what, what can we do? So they decided to come set up and they, people donated food to them. So they started barbecuing and giving sandwiches out, which really helped. And one thing about this area, whether you're family or not, because it's such a small community, we all come together to help one another whenever, you know, needed. As of right now, Bolden Road is closed to allow work trucks to come and go. Parish President Jesse Bellard encourages the community to stay off the road unless you're coming to help. Reporting in Palmetto, I'm Kaylee Norman, KTC TV3. And the St. Landry Parish President Jesse Bellard signed a state of emergency declaration for the area. He hopes that it will bring in more assistance. We are hoping uh, that FEMA is going to take this seriously, which we think that it will because it just didn't happen here. It happened all across the South United States. So all the southern states kind of got hit by the same storm. So with everything combined, hopefully it's going to, unfortunately it's going to bring enough damages, but fortunately it will bring enough damages so we can get some help for our people. And we wanted to know how often an EF3 tornado or higher has hit Acadiana. According to the information we found, it's very rare to see strong, violent tornadoes this far south. We also found a tornado tracker that appears to show we haven't seen an EF4 or EF5 tornado in Acadiana since the 1950s.